check this out. Good morning again. See this right here? This store, they renting this right here from a company. It's like a forklift, right? Don't y'all go far. Oh, they're going to use the bathroom, Daniel and Monte. They renting this. Um, I don't know what to call this. Some of you know what to call this heavy duty equipment, right? But when I see stuff like this, think about business. This company's probably making seven hundred dollars or more a day just from renting this thing out to this business. But you think about if you get you something like this, this one with a bucket on it. I think they call it a boom, a tree cutting boom. I was looking at a piece of machine. It's got a bucket on it. And it can go way up in the sky. It can make them trees that's way up there. You can cut them down like nothing just in that bucket. And with the four wheel steering wheel, you can drive it to and from where you needed to be at. That's a business right there. Tree cutting business. You get your insurance, licenses, all of that. You invest in a machine. You see what I'm saying? There's people that will invest in $200,000 cars just to impress other people when they can invest in something that costs half the cost or less than half the cost of that and make that $200,000 in no time. You can get you a tree cutting boom, get up there, cut a tree down from the top, get you a saw, and it can be a one-man job. You can cut you a tree down, get you about $500 to $1,000 a tree, depending on the size, height of the tree, probably more than that. Think about how many trees you can cut in a day, especially if it's something that you unique that you really like doing. That's a business skills as well. Then you can hire some young folk and teach them. But anyway, that's what I just wanted to share. I be seeing different type of equipment. I'm always seeing all different type of businesses as I'm out and about. Y'all have a blessed day. Think smart. Don't work too hard. I love you.